Hey guys, it's pretty late. It's actually like the next night, day, whatever. Well, whatever. It's the, it's the day I'm still working thing. What's the day? The 13th? I think it's the 13th. So hello everyone, welcome to... The Race of 14th. Uh, welcome to Thursday, March 13th or 14th. I'm Xenia Shuttle, what do you know already? And today was probably, it felt like a really, really long day. Um, it's because, I don't know, at work, I learned that apparently, I tried talking to you guys about this two days ago, but I couldn't really because screaming women. Uh, I was trying to say, if, if you heard it anyways, my lines knew a time would be from 6 p.m., to 6 a.m. for about a, a week or so. But, the next day, well, that was yesterday, but the next day day, or was it the next day? day? No, 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 it was today then. Um, the next day, because <clears throat> I didn't go officially for the first day, the next day, the second day, they changed it back. Why? Because... I don't know. I'm so, so many thought it was a dumb idea because half of the people couldn't do what they wanted to do, and graveyards never do anything because apparently they always get in trouble, and or something happens and no one's actually there. So, basically, they had to work from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. and then come back at 2:30 to work their regular shift from 2:30 to 11. Oh my God. They worked 12 hours, and then they worked an extra 8 hours. They worked 20 hours. Oh my gosh. They stayed awake probably a whole full day. I just feel bad for, like, one of my coworkers, Umar, because... <clears throat> Ooh, sorry. Because he goes to work. Oh, sorry. He goes to school. I'm not sure if he's going to school uh, Wednesday or today or something, but he goes to school, man, and I felt bad for him. And 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 apparently, they not everyone could literally come ne the next day feeling all pumped up. So apparently, my operator he called in; he just couldn't do it to come in at his regular time. So morning shifts operator had to work from here you go, six a.m. So when they were leaving, 6 a.m. to 11 from when I left. So she worked how many hours? Well, let's, let's see. We got 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's 6 hours. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 9 hours. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 14 hours. At 11, she worked 15 hours. I'm surprised. Very surprised. She might be, maybe, she probably been stayed awake for like who knows how long. And it's just crazy. They, they're wanting us to do all these crazy things and we can't do them. I told him straight up, I just can't do it. And he respected that. I just told him straight up. The very first day I heard it, I said straight up, can't do it. They respected it. So, today was just a weird day because we were working with a new operator, just, well, more not really new, just morning shifts operator, and we couldn't really connect that well with a lot of people because, well, a lot of people don't speak her language, which is Spanish. I could easily, but, you know, she also speaks English and stuff. But everyone knows in, in swing shift who Bobby is, and everyone knows Bobby's like the nicest guy there is. And I'm not saying she wasn't nice or anything, it's that, you know, she doesn't really talk to us because she doesn't really know us, which is fine. So, it was a weird, awkward, long day because my friend Kenya, she wasn't even there today, nor was actually, like, a lot of people. There was, like, I think two or three lines not working or something. And then eventually everybody started leaving home early, like another couple of lines. And now the only lines there were only, like, f a good five or six lines and I was really bored. Even my lunch time was really boring. I had no one to talk to. No one. I didn't have uh, my coworkers, uh, 
friends like uh, Hiram. I didn't have Drakel to talk to. I didn't have Raphael. I didn't have Kenya's brothers, Mario or Jesus, or their friends. I just didn't have anyone to talk to. Not even like Daisy or Daisy's mom or Adriana or anyone. So I literally just sat there looking at my phone, pretending to do something like well, no, like eat, and that was it. And I went back to work. Uh, yeah. The first, I want to say, the only thing I kind of remember about today was the first, I think, within the first two hours, for some reason, uh, one of the, not managers, but one of the supervising people that sees how the, the progress or something is happening, comes over, even though she never comes over to our line ever, because it's just the same old thing. Nothing new, nothing fantastic or miracle or anything. It's just boring. She comes over and she literally has interest in our line. And I'm thinking to myself, what is she doing here? I mean, I don't feel that comfortable with her being here, but I'm not trying to be rude because, well, she wants to know what we're doing. So I was like, all right, I'll just let her do what she wants to do, like seeing me work or something. And then she starts telling us, like, demanding stuff, like, commanding, you know, like, 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 work, like, as a boss, is like, hey, are you going fast enough and stuff like that? It's like, we don't need to go fast. We just need to say everything's perfect and precise. If we don't, if we don't do that, we can screw up really badly. And I don't know if I said that exactly. And I wanted to say that. I think it was, like, my QC or something. Well, in Spanish, though. And, uh... I guess she just kind of got mad because she doesn't. Are you doing a vlog? Yes. I vlog. Oh. Okay, but she kind of got mad because she just doesn't know anything about a packet a line. So it was just really awkward, and she just stood there just watching us work. And I actually told her, "Do you want to help us out?" And then she just straight up said, "No, I'm good." And then she just went away. Eventually, like five minutes later, mm -hmm. and it was like so stupid. Really? So yeah, it was. she doesn't really care. Um, <laughs> me? Yes, you. Yeah. I know. Cause I could tell. Anyways, so what did you? When did when you get it? Right now? Yeah. They're downstairs. How many? My dad gave me a box. What? What time is it? Twelve something. Thirty. Twelve thirty. About. I would have made this early, but I just was so tired. Why do you even want to be in a vlog again? Gosh. I like being in vlogs. Why don't you make your own? It makes me feel famous, but yeah. although I don't think a lot of people watch your vlog. Not a lot of people watch your vlog. It just depends on the topic. And share the it, you watch please. It. Share my Judy is drunk video. Share the last video that we did, the one with all of us it's, in the hotel room. That's I funny. will. Once Everybody it's out. will share it. They'd be like, "Look at these, these on the radio." <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I th th that's I th working. I, th dark, th dark, I think dark. I think the one we're recording in Raquel's room might be out tomorrow. What time tomorrow? Three o'clock. So basically, when I'm already at work, like exactly, okay. so, so you know. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Dang, I really want one of those. <laughs> Dang. So. Do you want one? You can get one. Yeah, I'll get one after. But yeah. Bye, just... blog. What? Bye, blog. Where are you leaving? Living room. Okay. We're having fun talking about stuff. Oh, I can hear. It just kind. Of, it just sounds kind of boring to me a little. Cause you're not a girl. I know. Bye. Bye bye. Okay, that was. Judy. <laughs> so, today I work, which is kind of stupid. In a way, just really awkward. Operator for the day, our supervising manager caring for some reason. And no one to talk to. It was kind of a quiet day. We could just hear the machines going all the time without anyone talking. And I can't even talk to my, my co workers, like my team. Because they all speak a different language. <laughs> they speak English not that well, and I can't understand if they speak English. Like, sometimes they'll be telling me something in English, but I won't understand until maybe a minute later because I'm trying my best to think on what they're saying, so it's kind of hard. The only one I can actually communicate really, really well is with Umar and uh, this girl. I always forget her name. Yeah, I forgot her name. Okay. <laughs> but other than them two... I can communicate kind of well. It's just it, it was really boring, really boring. 
So, and I didn't have time to play a game, which I really wanted to, but then now I can't. I'm just going to watch some more videos, because I was doing before here, so. And I want to congratulate one person, which is my sister, Yvette. Uh, you might have seen her here on Girl Power Vine video, like, the two or three days ago vlog that says Girl Power on it. I don't remember what day. Um... She graduated, well not graduated yet, her last day of school was today and um, she just, she was saying basically it was a sad and just trying to cheer up and all that stuff, you know. I remember the first, not the first day, the last day of school uh, at, high, at my high school, it wasn't, for her it wasn't high school, it was actually college, you know, but the like university or whatever, massage therapy, whatever, but it still is the same. I remember my last day of school, I just didn't want to say goodbye. No one wanted to say goodbye. A lot of people wanted to say goodbye for reasons as in, yay, I can not come to school and do homework and stuff now. But in, in realistically, re realistically people, we will all miss each other. And it really shows during the years. It really does show. The first year, I kept dreaming I'm not even joking. The first year, I kept dreaming that I was still in school. I'm not joking. I was still in school, still doing things in school, or, or, because <laughs> it's a dream. Anything had happened in school, <laughs> like like, like a meteor coming to the school or something. I don't know. It's like that was literally what I was dreaming about for a year. Not all the time, but most likely I was dreaming about that, or like girls, or a video game or something. I don't know anime, whatever, but I was seriously dreaming about school, and I really, really missed it, and to this day, I still haven't seen, oh, and sorry if you heard a vibration, uh, to this day, I still haven't seen everyone since high school, I've seen, like, a couple pe i seen, like, maybe a good one-fourth, maybe two-fourth, so maybe half, maybe, I don't know, people of high school that I, A, haven't, I didn't really want to see, or... B, I actually been wanting to see you, just not as much as the actual main people I want to see. No offense, but there's been a lot of good people that I just I want to see them, and I haven't seen them in a long time. Uh, like I'm just gonna give you some people's names. Uh, I'm just gonna go by their first names because I don't want to say their last names. Like uh, Justin, uh, my really good friend. I keep talking to you guys about summer vlogs, summer vlogs, some vlogs. Uh, Justin, uh, and then I seen Diana, and if I. <sighs> Let's go with their last name, too. Sometimes I have to say their last names because it sounds great. Um, Dan and Miranda was the last time I saw her was in the mall. I, uh, it was around Christmas time, but I don't remember which Christmas time. It might have been during when I was the... Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I think I was still in... I was, yeah, I was trying to go to college at the time, so it was probably 2012? 20, 20, I don't know. And then I seen... Uh, Andrew McDonald, last time I actually met him was, uh, at, at my Radio Shack, and I think I actually talked about that on a vlog one of the days, but I don't remember what day, I think, yeah, I was still working at Dollar Tree, so it might have been around November or December, it feels like it was a December vlog, so if you want to go check that out, go all through December's vlogs, I guess, uh, who else did I saw, I've seen, i seen Bobby Brown, but, only at the bus stop, and now I don't remember when I saw him, but it might have been a year or within a year. Uh, who else have I seen? I seen uh, man. Well, of course I seen like people I still hang out with today. I seen like Anthony, and I seen David. Of course, you guys saw him last. You guys saw him last Saturday's vlog. Um, just I just haven't seen a good lot of people. I oh I seen uh. Uh, Daniel, not, 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 uh, Anthony's friend, Daniel Schaefer, but, uh, Daniel, uh, Lind, Lind, Daniel Lindsay, I, it was a really old elementary school friend, and I haven't seen him since junior high, and then I eventually found him, actually here at the GameStop, and I didn't really recognize him until he told me who he was, because he said I looked familiar, so, uh, the last time I think I met him was two, a year and a half ago, because he was looking for PSP games. And I'm sorry for my family being really, really loud. 
But yeah, yeah. Uh, he was trying to find PSP games, and I told him the PSP still has them, but just not too many. <sighs> okay, like I said, <sighs> PSP still GameStop still has PSPs, but not too many because. Not many people can, you know, find them because not all the good games you can find anymore. So it's kind of rude. Anyways, not right I'm thinking about them. Um, I'm just hearing them laugh and stuff. It's bothering me so much right now. Okay. Anyways, uh, who, I I just haven't seen a lot of people. I seen Jessica Urchiro. I forgot to say her last name. But last time I saw her was at Walmart. Uh, I saw Haley Uchiro, which is a cousin, but my sister's friend sister. If that makes sense. Uh, <laughs> very old sister's friend Rosendo. I met him when I was like in elementary, so we go way back. I I seen a good couple people, just have not seen for a long time. How long is this vlog? Dang, it's actually kind of long. Sorry about that. But, um, yeah, today was just, uh, I guess just a boring day. I mean, I just, nothing to talk about, really, other than, you know, I don't even know what the topic of this vlog is. What's the topic of this vlog? I really think, really fast, because I don't want to end the vlog without just knowing nothing. I actually like titling it something? Uh... What is the vlog's title today? I, feel, I know there's something... I Okay, this is not... I don't want it to be a topic, but I heard that... Not even heard, I saw it on IGN and ScrewAttack, and then IGN made a separate video about it. That a guy reached a million gamer score on his Xbox One for playing uh, Titanfall on Twitch or something, and... I don't know. This is, I don't really care, but apparently it's 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 really big. It went to the Genesis World Records, and he currently holds it as of yesterday or today. So that's uh, pretty interesting. But um, I don't know what the topic of the vlog is. I don't. So let's go with. I want something to be interesting. I really want something to be interesting other than just boring work. And I know you guys only really want to hear about work, but. I might have to just go with that. I might just want to wait. I got, I got it. Last moment thing. I just remembered. This morning I saw by For Neverworld or other known as his other YouTube channel, no longer a game. Check that out on YouTube. Go subscribe. He's a really cool guy. Uh, anime lover, video game lover, mostly anime, <laughs> but whatever. Okay, no longer a game. And uh, he was telling me that this is new game called One Piece. Uh, ultimate adventure or or something like that. Adventure, an ultimate world. I know it has the word ultimate in it, but One Piece Ultimate World Adventure, whatever. Uh, R or other known as Red. I, I don't know if there's gonna be like a blue or green or something. But I'm so excited because this game, One Piece Ultimate or Unlimited World Adventure, whatever. It'll be in the title of the video. <laughs> okay. Um. It's not just gonna be on the PS3, of course. That's like the that's like the you know go to thing for One Piece or any anime uh, video games. But this is the most surprising part. This game is gonna be on the Wii U. Yeah, Wii U. Oh, and 3DS and PS Vita. But I haven't played a One Piece game on an actual console since One Piece. Grand Adventure for the PS2. The last game I played of just One Piece in general actually was like within this month, I think. No. Within February, uh, Screw Attack gave me a free downloadable copy of One Piece Romance Dawn, which I still haven't played. I'm sorry about Screw Attack, but I am so excited. Yes, the game can be kind of expensive on the, the eShop because apparently. This game is downloadable only, but that is probably going to be a lie. Because 
I don't know. It feels like it's a lie because he said Romance Dawn's going to be a downloadable only thing, but that's a lie. You can find it for a hard copy. It's just really, really hard to find because it's only a limited amount of copies made out there. But it's possible. And if this can be big, I want to get it because I really have not grabbed any One Piece games in a long time or any... One Piece anime for for Bilia in so long. I'm kind of not knowing what's happening in One Piece. My friend Kanye, she's obsessed with it. But I don't want her to tell me everything about it. Yeah, I want to know things about it. But not like the detailest thing ever. And I just whatever. No, it's not going to... Like, it'll spoil it for me or whatever. But I still watch it. But I would like to catch up. Even though it's like 500 or six or a thousand videos ahead now. I need to catch up because I'm still like back in season five or six or four. I don't remember. Yeah, it's five or six. Five or six. I just remember when you met Frankie and no, not Brooke. I know Brooke is like around that season, but it's whatever. But <coughs> oh, sorry. I am excited. <laughs> and uh, I know this is like around. I don't know what season. The newest season in Japan. So I'm just excited to play. I really am. It's gonna be on the Wii U. It's like the most. Uh, sorry, I'm excited if I get it like a new Wii U thing because I really wanted to boot boot up. I really wanted to build up, armor up, tank it out. There has to be a freaking word for it. I really want to, yeah, build up my Wii U stuff because I want my actual Wii U to be you know doing something. I have like a couple games because I haven't played them yet to actually be something. You know, like I have Wonderful 101, DuckTales Remastered. Uh, Batman Arkham Origins, and now I also got The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD, and Zombie U. So, I'm excited, and sorry for all the little shaky shaky, but I'm excited to play that game on the Wii U. I mean, I don't have a PS3 or a Vita, and yes, I have a 3D, 3DS, but I most likely want to play it on the Wii U because I just haven't had a cop, or not a copy, haven't had a console version of any One Piece games in a long time, PS2. So, I'm excited to play. Anyways, that's the topic of the day. I'll see you guys tomorrow, because I'm going to probably be playing some Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 2, or Mario Power Tennis, because I'm kind of close to beating both of them. Kind of, not really. But, uh, I really want to be one of them, and who knows. I I'm, I'm probably not going to do it tomorrow, but I'm going to tell you how the day is, and all that stuff. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys for the next one, right? Oh, and don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and then I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.